Hello, welcome to SEL1 TNA Knitting Project Podcast. My name is Sharon and I'm coming to you from Surrey in the UK where I live with my family, three cats and a dog. Today is the 12th of June 2020, it's a Friday and this is episode 60. Welcome if you're a new viewer, welcome back if you're a returning viewer. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is my podcast all about my knitting and I have got a little bit of sewing this week and a little bit of crochet. Um, so let's get straight into it. Admin. The podcast has a Ravelry group. If you search um, SCR1 at TNO Knitting Project, you should find us. We should pop up. We currently have three knit alongs going on. One's ending at the end of June, which is the May Mini Madness, and that is basically anything made with scraps of yarn or minis. We have a check in for our square a day cow, which is where we're all knitting or crocheting or indeed quilting a square a day on a blanket. And um, the check in for the end of June is 182 squares. So I hope you're all getting on all right with those. I'm on course at the moment. Um, fingers crossed I'll be there by the end of June. Um, and we've also got a year long knit along of um, a jumper cow. And that's basically knitting any adult size jumper and there's quite a few ones sort of under plans right now. So that's our three knit alongs. Um, I have got some comments I'd like to kind of answer back. It's almost like a conversation going on here at the moment so bear with me and I'll go through my comments. So Jean, hello. Um, well done on finishing your Brunswick tea. I shall look for a photo of that. That would be cool. Um, Brendy, um, yes, the understated is a very, very funny shape and they, they, they do fit really, really well. Um, I don't think that says anything about you. I think it more says about the brilliant design. Um, I love it. I love my understated and I love the shape of it. Um, Helen of Giddy Yarns. Um, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad that you like my lighting. And that, that you, you, uh, to be fair, your minis are so gorgeous. They're easy to display, aren't they? My lighting today is not something to be so great because I am back upstairs, as you can see, and um, I am under the window, under the Vlux window, and it's one of those days where the sun is going in and out like a yo-yo. So apologies for that, but hopefully I won't have too much ambient noise or get interrupted, which is just as well because they are felling a tree down the road and you can hear the saw. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm not downstairs today. Um, Ali, I'm so glad that you've got on really well with two circular needles. That's brilliant. I mean, I love it, and I use it not just for socks. I use it for necks, um, jumpers. Sometimes you shall see later. My Whitmore's currently on two circulars. Um, I find it because it, I don't get the ladders down the side. I just find it is such a great way to you uh, to knit in the round. Um, the only problem is, of course, um, you need two sets of all the needles. So it makes things a little bit more expensive. Um, Jackie, happy birthday to your daughter. I hope she had a lovely day too. Um, yes, I did find my mini for my um, crochet, but not for a few days actually. It obviously come out of the bag when I was podcasting. I hadn't seen it and it rolled down the back of the table and it was on the floor. And it was only when one of the cats started playing with something. I was like, oh, what are you playing with? It was the mini. So um, in actual fact, Luna, my black cat, found it for me. Um, Sophie Spring Snowflake, hello. Um, yes, it is fab. I love the Giddy Yarns Nostalgia Club, it is absolutely amazing. Um, I like to try to work out which color it was. Yeah, so do I. I'm wrong pretty much every time. Um, don't worry about the background noise, it was really shocking last week, so, so hopefully this week's going to be better. Joe, um, how do you helical knit a textured pattern? <laughs> With difficulty is the answer to that. Um, I have been lucky with the Whitmore that each time I was due to slip the three stitches it was on a stocking stitch part of the, the um, pattern so I was able to wrangle it without any trouble. Um, I think that was more by luck than judgment because you have stitches where you um, sort of slip two and knit one together and if it had fallen on that particular s stitch that would have been difficult but I didn't have that ever it always fell on the now knit six stitches and that's where it fell so I was really lucky and that's the only reason I could do it um but with the yarn that I've got I thought it was essential that I did because as you can see you can already see a difference in it and if I hadn't helical knitted it even on the pattern I think it would have looked quite wrong so um yeah uh, basically luck is the answer to your question sorry it isn't more uh, technical Ginny, um, that's really sweet of you to say you enjoyed the background noise. Um, I hope you're 
feel like you're sitting with a friend knitting because I love that idea and I'm, so I like doing this chat back section with the comments um, I mean this is fine at the moment I only get sort of like five or six comments if I get loads of comments I'm not going to be able to do that for very long am I um, now Ginny has a really good question actually which is that um, how do you take care of big woolen blankets now um, I wash mine in the washing machine but on a cold wash and no spin and um the wool wash cycle so there's very little agitation but it does mean when they come out of the washing machine they're very very wet and very very heavy um so what i tend to do i only ever do it on really really sunny windy days so they'll be like once a year almost they'll be oh this is the perfect day to do it, to wash the blankets and i'll try and get them all through the washing machine um and then because obviously there's quite a straight I've got an outside error and I don't know how it would work if you didn't I guess you could possibly hang them over the bath because they drip um but I put them on the outside error and I put it over quite a few if you've got a, one of these umbrella ones which I have I put it over a number of the lines so that it's not all the tension in one place and I also try to do two at a time so it's balanced otherwise you can bend your error if you're not careful I have done that um so that's what I do and they do drip and it normally takes three or four days for them to dry but if it's you know you're in for a nice sunny period it doesn't matter if they're out overnight they, they're fine um i did wash my cottony one recently that I washed that the other day and that went on the line and it got dry and no problems at all um so that's how i take care of them but they are much more of a faff than the acrylic ones which as you say you can just wash and tumble dry and i do that with the if you look um on any of my vlogs and you see Bella laying on the sofa she's on my giant granny square which is a crochet blanket that's acrylic so I throw that in the washing machine on a regular basis because that's obviously where the dog lies I wouldn't do that with a like a wooden a, a woolen a wooden one a woolen one even <laughs> Peter it always rains on my birthday too the 28th of July it's really irritating isn't it I mean it's summer birthday and it rains but yes as you say never expect anything less and thank you Lou for the happy birthday messages so that's my comments from last week um I think that's it for admin I can't think of anything else right now um I have still got to do my journaling vlog I had a busy week this week so it didn't happen and I was going to do it today but I'm recording the podcast because I'm going to try and move the podcast to Fridays so it makes my life a little bit easier with background noise um that's it let's move on so day one is socks and so that's hanging out in my duck pool name vintage fair bag i love this bag and these are the yet to be named test knit pattern for laura of the lonely knitter and crafters barn um and i have finished my first one which i really love they've got chains on them i'm sorry about the background noise you can actually hear that at the moment um yeah these have got chains on them love this pattern it's such a cool pattern it's so easy to do so I did the first sock and I am all the way down to doing the chain before the toe on the second sock but I just could not get it finished that's my little needle cozy don't know who that's from um, and as you can see I'm doing it on two circulars and these are 2.5 millimeter I love the pattern. Let's move that one. Isn't it such a lovely pattern? So hopefully Laura will be releasing this shortly. When she does, I'll let you know. And the yarn I'm using is Sherry Iris. And this is the Country Diary Collection Study of a Bluebell. And it's beautiful. I love this. It's so pretty. Really pretty. perfect yarn that's how it knits up on the back I love these half patterns because not only do you get a rest for half a row you get to see the yarn in stocking stitch which I always think is the stitch that shows it up the best but isn't that lovely and this yarn is showing up that texture stitch beautifully so this is a lovely yarn for both plain and patterned <laughs> so, 
really really pretty yarn so that's my day one socks so day two um is at the moment baby knit day and that is hanging out now in my new bag from last week which was um a so Ray me bag by rachel which i love and it's big enough now a bit of a story going on here okay we'll do the first one and then we'll do the second one and the third one there's a lot in here bear with it's going to be a bit of a section this one so at the moment i am doing the oh I'd marked it last week I didn't mark it this week I am doing the jacket with moss stitch bands baby jacket and this is from the Debbie book Debbie Bliss book baby knits for beginners um, and I'm using the Debbie Bliss baby cash merino in the mint colorway which is luckily still available because this happened this is the little jacket I have got a front a back the other front and a sleeve and then I ran out of yarn <laughs> so I've had to order another ball which is really annoying um, both the balls I had weren't full balls and obviously they weren't full balls enough to do the whole thing but as you can see I have started piecing this together normally I would block the pieces but I decided I might as well start um, sewing it together and then I will block it once it's finished um, yeah and I love it such a pretty colour too so I'm waiting for um, the yarn to finish that one now also from another Debbie Bliss book which I haven't got and I can't find I had knit this a couple of, um, last not last year the year before before I started recording the podcast um, I started knitting baby knits on a day to keep like a stock of them well I haven't got any left now except for I've got this little hat um, which I absolutely adore now this is on my um, project page on my free so if you want the details for it go and check out my project page as I said it's a couple of years ago so it will be back back a little bit but that is also going to go because it's the same color as this so it's going to go with it as a little set and uh, yeah that's the the little baby hat which I love and this has been blocked even though it doesn't look like it look at the top isn't that lovely so pretty um, so that's also going with it and then I totally forgot I had this book I was looking for something else which is always the way isn't it and I found it and this is the Debbie Bliss the ultimate book of baby knits as you can tell I love Debbie Bliss for baby knits I really do actually and I am making there we go the tank top which is that one there I'm making this which I absolutely adore. This is such a pretty little pattern. Um, now, there is a photo of it on that page, which if I can show it to you without showing you the pattern, because the pattern is on the other page. So um, that's obviously a little girl. So I'm hoping that it won't matter whether it's a little girl or a little boy, because we don't know the flavour of this one. Um, and it will be okay for both. But the pattern itself is the prettiest pattern. Um, I'm hoping it will show up on camera. This is the back I have started. So you've got a little rib detail at the bottom and then a little pearl detail going up the back. Um, oh, it's so nice. I really like this. This again is Debbie Bliss Baby Cash Merino. Um, this one hasn't got a colour name, it's just 340103, but I think it's called Buttermint. I think it's Buttermint. Um, oh, it's so pretty. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm doing that tank top as well. So she'll have a few little bits and pieces and then um, eventually I want to do a blanket. Um, but this book is gorgeous there's so many lovely patterns in here for babies 
Um, <laughs> look at that one. I have to show you that without showing you the pattern. Isn't that lovely? So, and um, oh, little booties at the back. I want to do all those booties for her. So yeah, this is the ultimate book of baby knits by Debbie Bliss. And as I said, I do like Debbie Bliss for baby patterns. They're clear, they're simple, and they're very, very effective. And this is a particularly lovely book. Um, so yeah, I totally forgotten I bought that. I found it whilst looking for something completely different, nothing to do with knitting. I looked through it and went, oh, that will do. <laughs> So that's day two, baby knit day. So day three is garment day, and that's hanging out in my So Beautiful by Nicola bag, which I adore. Love this bag. And this is my Whitmore sweater, which is a sweater or jumper by Amy Loudon of Little Tailoress. Um, and as usual, when it gets to showing it on the podcast, the picture page is not at the front there we go so that's what I'm making now there's two options for this you can either make it with fingering and mohair how double or you can make it with DK and I am doing the DK version and here we go this is how far I got I'm just going to take my it's my DPN needle cosy that's by um, Sherry Iris and right so it actually looks like a little jumper now I have split for the sleeves so I'm on plain stocking stitch at the bottom and I was where the yep where the sheep was last time we I recorded so I have done that and I finished all of the lace now and I am on I'm on the body so what I'm going to do now is stop and knit both the sleeves because I want the sleeves in the yarn that I'm using at the moment before I fade into the next colour um, so I'm going to knit the sleeves next and as you can see I've got these on two circulars now so it makes my life an awful lot easier and I've got the sleeves on waist yarn, so I'm going to pick up for the sleeves when I can find my smaller four millimetre needles. Right, so that's actually the back, that's the front. Um, I love this pattern, it's very easy to do. I've really enjoyed it and I'm on the plain bits now. Um, I am using... what I've got left of these two balls which is why I want to move on to the sleeves and I'm using Dusty Dimples um, in her blush colourway at the moment this is DK yarn um, and then eventually oh, don't roll off of there please I'm going to be fading into Harmony which is that one. So I want to do part, at least part of the sleeves in the other two until I change over and fade into harmony. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to get this done. I mean, by the time I get it done, we won't have the weather to wear it hopefully we've lost our weather here in the uk at the moment it's gone cold and um but it's not cold but it's not as warm as it was and it's certainly not sunny at the moment um i mean today's a bit better but the sun's going in and out but it's still cloudy and it's very very windy um <laughs> so in the middle of day three garment day that would be the weather report <laughs> oh dear right so there we go so that's day three garment day so day four is crochet day and that's hanging out in my fondant fibre bag and this is my crochet Christmas blanket. I made some exciting progress on this this week. Hold on a minute, my magic knot balls deciding to come unravelled. And these are my next colours. 
and then that's my little silver mini that I found last week courtesy of the cat right so the two squares I did this week is this one which is an advent um, from 2018 from Willy Goodness is that pretty? Do you like how that's crocheted up? And this one, which is an advent from 2019 by Willy Goodness. Now, as you can see, that ball is smaller than that one, so this is only 10 gram mini. So, um, but I have got some others similar to this that I'm going to see whether I can wrangle. But the exciting thing is, I joined these two together so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's finished so each pattern square is surrounded by a plain square so it's going to have a kind of patchwork look about it and it's quite big it's going to be quite i mean it's way longer than my wingspan in fact half of it's my wingspan so that's that half and then that's that half and as you can see i've used the silver to go between the squares and I have got some more silver yarn which has turned up so I'm going to show you that in happy mail so that's where I'm going with it um obviously the, only re the reason I've only got two squares done is because I did spend quite a while attaching the rest of these and I had to do those two squares as well on the end there with the stitch markers I did that one and that one that's really goodness um rocking around the Christmas tree and that I'm not sure what that one is that's a different one um, so I had to finish those two off and then I joined the strips together so the idea is I'm joining as I go so it's not too tedious and also I get a feeling of progress because I can see it growing which is kind of cool um, so yes yeah, so that's my little one from this way isn't that pretty really like how that's come out So I'm going to carry on with that as it is. It's not. A, it's my own pattern. I'm doing a five round repeat on the granny square. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five. And each time I do a round, I turn it over. So they're very square squares and um, it's sort of double sided. Um, so that's that. And I, the, my, my pattern is one plain one and then uh, one patterned one even and then one plain one and it's going to be a checkerboard effect um and i'm trying not to put sort of reds on top of red so that won't go on top of there it will go on top of that one well on, it will actually go there but um it's so i don't put them too much together although that one might be a green one because that one's red I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> I can sort of lay, just lay it out on the floor and then try and place where I'm going to put the next lot. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's my crochet at the moment. It's hopefully going to be one I stick with because I'm notoriously bad at starting a blanket and then moving on to another blanket. So I'm on a blanket ban now. No more starting blankets until some of these blankets are actually finished. Um, and I am using a three millimeter clover crochet hook for this it's got a really nice gauge so that is it at the moment so that's day four crochet day right day five is here comes the whip and that's in my so sweet violet bag and this is my habitation throw which is a pattern by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade and was part of Knitvent for last year, Knitvent 2019. And I am using my Advent Minis from Lay Family Yarn. And I think I'm on, what am I on Mini Wise now? I am on Mini 16 now. this is a little needle holder from craft house magic and oh am i seriously in the middle of a row no i'm not i was going to say that would not be good 
<clears throat> okay, I was where that little heart is last week and I did quite a bit. I've gone into this blue mini now, which is pretty. I love this. You may see it's better when it's finished and I can uh, show it full screen. I can, I'll do a video when it's finished. And when this one's finished, I have a second habitation, which is my Sherry Irish minis that I want to do too. Um, so yeah, so I'm decreasing. I'm on the decreases. I'm just plodding along with it and I love it. It's such a meditative knit. It's exciting because you're working towards getting to the next mini. And um, it's going to be beautiful when it's finished. So I'm looking forward to having the finished object for this one. And it is one that I will grab if I've got um, something complicated going on that day. And I have a meeting or Zoom meeting that um, I need to concentrate on. So I can't concentrate on a pattern. I'll grab that. I'll, I'll leave it downstairs and I will grab it and work on it. So it does get quite a bit of work. And I have dropped my mini. So I'm going to go rescue that. So that is day five. Here comes the whip. So day six is scrappy projects and um, this one's had to upgrade into a bigger bucket and this I got for my birthday from my lovely friend Kelly. It's made by Ginny Makes and I love it. It's such a lovely bucket. So um, I've had to upgrade it. My minis for it are living in my other rope bowl that I've got for it. But um, yeah, it had to, I had to do some wrangling with this yesterday. Yesterday was um, scrappy project day. Now I am going into a new section, so hopefully this will now be easier to show you, she says, with it all tangled. So I finished my craft house magic section, so I went from there and I finished that. Now this is a set of minis, I think it was mini set four, I think we agreed from Ellie of Croft House, Croft House Magic. Um, so that's her section done. And I'm now starting on my Lay Family Yarn section. And that's the first bit of that one. So that one there at the top is Ellie, which is Croft House Magic. Then it's Hedgerow Yarns. No, sorry, then it's Down Sheepy Lane. Then it's Hedgerow Yarns. And then at the bottom is Sherry Iris. So at the moment I'm doing strips of dyers. And I've kept the top free. This is where I had to do some wrangling yesterday. I've kept the top free so that on um, a spare cable. So I can carry on and make it longer if I want to. Um, now I had got it on stitch holders. They kept coming undone and it was beginning to drive me nuts. And I also realised that the time I'd got this stitch holder on it, that was four. Um, it was getting more and more difficult to A, show on the podcast um, and B, to get to lay flat and, and fold up. So I put it on a cable. I've got a nice long cable so I can add lots more yet. But it does make it a lot easier for me to show on the podcast. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. So this is the North Easterly and it's a pattern by Skinanigans which I know loads of people are making North East Lees at the moment. Mine's supposed to be a pastel, sort of light coloured ones. Shouldn't be too many dark colours. And as I said, I'm just going into the um, Lay Family Yarn one. And the, this is a little set. This is her Spring Fling Minis. So these are the ones that are going in this time round, which I adore. So pretty. Kelly's just had a massive shop update and there's lots of things in her shop so go check her out and that's Lay Family Yarn and yeah, that's the Spring Fling Minis they're so pretty so that's what I'm doing with that at the moment um, this was a birthday present from as I said lovely Kelly of Lay Family Yarn made by Jilly Makes and bless Jilly she added her own little birthday present for me, which was a couple of minis by um, Vicky Brown Size. That's, that's Jilly's logo. And I love these too. These are really pretty. So these are going to go in my very pretty mini 
pot that I've got that are minis from people I haven't got enough to do a whole strip of um, and then I will add them in kind of in the middle um, of just like random ones that I've got that are beautiful so yeah I'm really pleased with this I love this it's um, certainly something I gravitate towards making again I'd like to get this one finished it would be so nice so maybe I'll st stick with that one so that was day six scrappy project day so next up is my cozy memory blanket and that's living in my seaside bag by busy pottering and oh, I have <clears throat> been quite good this week and I haven't got behind at all which is nice so here we go minis that one there is um, love is a battlefield which was an extra little mini that um, Ellie included in an order and it's a single and I'd forgotten how much I love knitting with singles so that was a real pleasure in fact at one point I was sitting there thinking oh, I've got loads of singles maybe I could just like roll off a little bit and make do like a whole load of singles in here because I do love singles then this is from the blanket box which you saw last week from Giddy Yarns this is this one I love this because if you watched her vlog she saw her dyeing these so it's really special to have seen it being dyed and then getting them into my blanket and then that's the last one and then this one here is the start of the blanket box from Willy Goodness now this I showed you back in um, April this is April's ones and Jenny's doing boxes that are inspired by a photograph I haven't got the photograph with me it's in my journal um, and she's doing a little blanket box of minis now the reason I'm telling you this is because on Monday so it'll be tomorrow when you're watching this I think it's at 10 a.m. check out her Instagram feed so that's Woolly Goodness um, she's bringing them back which I'm really excited about so that's Woolly Goodness's blanket boxes are should be available from 10 a.m. tomorrow um, which will be the 15th I believe of June and I cannot wait I have to admit that actually is um, the little stitch marker that came with it as well there was a little stitch marker in there so that's my cozy memory blanket it is growing I have an I am on track with getting finished for the check-in um, I've only got three more days and I'll be squaring off again so hopefully next week you'll have a square off video at the end um, and I shall look forward to seeing you all checking in at the end of the month. So that's my cosy memory blanket. So sewing, and this is how I hang out, one of my little suitcases that I've got. Um, and this is new, so you've not seen this. And this was inspired by the lovely Gainer of Tales of Cuckoo Land, who is doing a beautiful English paper piecing quilt. Now, I have made um, something with English paper piecing when I was a teenager. I believe I made a book cover. Um, and when I say book cover I think it was like a little needle case cover anyway um, so I've ordered some hexagons off of these are just off of Amazon um, and you get a hundred in the pack and these are one inch on the sides hexagons and now what I've done is I have used all my envelopes from Sherry Iris where I've had minis at the moment I have got some fabric coming which I was hoping would be here for today but it's not um, and I've unpicked them and cut them into squares and then I am making the squares into little hexagons but as you can see I have made a start now um, Kelly who is Lay Family Yarns and has Lay Family Yarns HQ on YouTube um, as her podcast is doing a stolen moments cowl and the idea is that um, they're projects that you you keep to hand that you can do um, during stolen moments so this is it sitting on my desk whilst I'm working and when I'm waiting for stuff to upload or download which happens quite a lot in my job um, I just sit there and do one of these um, the longest part of it was unpicking it all so now it's all unpicked I can actually just sit there and make up my hexes 
um, and hopefully, here we go. They're the ones I used. Actually, they're one and a half inch. Um, so they're the ones I bought off of Amazon. And there are, there are 100 in a pack. So I've bought two packs for the moment, so I have 200. I anticipate I will need more. Um, this is a very ancient pin. I inherited this. It's got loads of pins in it. Um, it's really pretty. It's Rimmel, so I think it must have been a powder um, holder many years ago for loose face powder. But the lady who I inherited it from had put pins in it. So I've put that in here. I've got some fluorescent yellow yarn so that I can see it on all of the... Um, even on the yellow one it shows up, you see. So I'm going to spot that a mile off to take my tags out. I sew mine, I don't glue them. Um, so we'll get in a sticky mess if I glue them. So sewing them seems like a... And I like, I like sewing them, I like making these. Um, so they all sit in here. It all sits together. I've got a needle minder, which is still in its packet for some reason. Um, that's got my needle on it on the outside and on the back it's collected a paper clip now that's collected from my desk that's nothing to do with this in fact it's the paper clip that holds my Whitmore pattern together so it's collected that and my scissors <laughs> a little stitch on picker for um, the pockets and then those are the pockets I could find I, na I have more pockets I need to find my the rest of my pockets but I've got those ones for the moment and I'm going to make a design with these I've got a lot more material downstairs that I've looked out and I washed and tumble dried and ironed last week so I can add that to it and um, I have some fabric coming which I can't remember whether I ordered jelly rolls or whether I ordered fat quarters so that'll be a surprise when it turns up but I got some um, vouchers from Etsy for my birthday and I use those so it's kind of technically a birthday gift that one yeah but can you see that it all sits in there so nicely <laughs> so that just sits on my desk and as I said I'm entering it for Kelly's stolen moments cow so this is going to be a temporary section saying thank you very much um, these are presents that I got for my birthday and I'm just going to run through them very quickly with you first of all this I got from my lovely eldest daughter and it's Turtle Cove from Lay Family Yarn. I'm not sure how I missed this in the updates because this is gorgeous. It's really pretty um, and it has my surname on it. My my maiden name is Cove. Um, so I was very drawn to this including the colours. So they are, that's going to make some very pretty socks at some point. Um, and I got this from my middle daughter which I absolutely adore. Now this is a this is by Jilly Makes again, who you've already seen, and is a pouch. So it's a knitting pouch for all your knitting essentials, or anything else you want to use it for. I mean, it'd be really, really good for your journaling essentials as well. To be honest, if you were, um, if you wanted to take journaling away with you, if we can ever leave the house again, um, this would be perfect for it because you've got a pencil case and places where you could put your tags and labels and things. Um, but yes, yeah, so pretty. Now I asked um, Jilly to make it in blue and white, which I think she did really beautifully. And she's even pop popped a couple of hot air balloons in there for me. Um, so yeah, so that was from my lovely youngest daughter. And then the lovely Laura from the Lonely Knitter podcast and my adopted yarn daughter really treated me and gave me some La Bien which is gorgeous and the colour seems to be Namu N-A-M-U yeah it's really pretty really really pretty and in it with it she a couple more yeah, that one's another Vicky Brown design mini. I haven't bought any of Vicky's minis myself, but having got so many lovely ones for um, my birthday, I'm very, very tempted to 
check out her website and then this one is um, yarn indulgences which again is both from Laura thank you so much Laura lovely okay um, and then this one was from my middle daughter and is the rose basket embroidery kit from the stitchery I'm looking forward to doing that that's so pretty so it includes the linen instructions and threads um, I do love her kits so that was from my middle daughter and then part of stuff from hubby um, with the help of the lovely Susie from Out of Flower Stitches um, so sweet and so lovely so I've got these beautiful minis so this is from hubby I mean yeah, admittedly I jogged him in the right direction but aren't they beautiful these are going to go into my northeasterly and um, will she'll have a, her own strip because I love her minis and I've um, Susie has started her own mini club um, so I'm going to be having those as well so they can go in as well right so that's the minis and then also I really really wanted this is really sweet the pink sewing machine on here progress keeper um, when Ian went to order it Susie didn't have the pink one online she only had the blue one so he ordered the blue one messaged Susie and then Susie very kindly included that as a present to me for my birthday which I was blown away it's so sweet of her um yeah so go check she has both a podcast and a shop and that's elderflower stitches um so yeah really had a lovely knitty birthday I had a few other bits and pieces that um are not so much knitted related I got a mixing bowl there is a story behind the mixing bowl the mixing bowl I had was my mother's um, and accidentally got broken as these things do um, uh, but I particularly like this mixing bowl it's a big old ceramic one um, and I particularly liked it at Christmas when I was soaking the fruit and things in it so um, I asked if I could have another one because they're very expensive and then um, I've got some Katie green bean stamps that I didn't bring up I don't think I don't know why I didn't do that um, I'll show you those next week um, and there was a couple of other bits and pieces which are escaping me there was a journal uh, so I'll show you all that next week I didn't want to overload the section so now I'm going to go into happy mail Hi. right I'm going to start with this um, because you kind of know about this one this is from the lovely Helen who is Ian Tantetera and this is the silver bells that I found um, so this is superwash merino silk full ply so it's, it's a bit of a luxury yarn for what I'm going to be using it for but it's gorgeous and it was perfect um, and Helen assures me that should I need to she might be able to dry me up another one so that's and as I said it was perfect because it was called silver bells so it's even a Christmas yarn how about that and it's a lovely colour it's a little bit lighter than the one I've got but that doesn't bother me um, so yeah love that so that's one that I purchased. Now I have become friends with the lovely loan of um, a lonely sock lady on Instagram. We're part of a group chat together and she dyes yarn. So I shopped her update. Now you can bear with me for a moment and I'll show you what I got. <laughs> so loan has been super generous and um, I bought this beautiful sock set which I cannot wait to start using. Isn't that lovely? Self-striping. Um, so it's a Lonely Sock Lady yarn. I will link to her in the show notes. Ah, there are show notes. Under there should be show notes. Um, so lovely. And then I got a beautiful set of um, her rainbow mini skeins. Which, yeah, absolutely lovely. I love them. They're so pretty. They lovely if I can capture them or I'll stick them that side. I absolutely adore them, they're so pretty. And because Lone is just lovely, I have got a little thank you. They're pretty. 
Um, these ones, which says, I hope you can find a um, blanket to put these in. <laughs> yeah, I think we can. And the same with this one, which is a little bits and bobs. This is gorgeous. Look, look at all those. So that is going to live in my cozy memory blanket bag as my emergency minis which means it's more a case i'm really worried about doing it recently because we can't go anywhere but i always try and keep some emergency minis in the bottom of my blanket bag my um, cozy memory bag so that if we had any sort of emergency i could just grab it and go um and i've used them all recently so i thought I'm, i'll add those to it and so it's lovely so thank you very much lone now not only did lone treat me she treated you lot as well look at these so these are going to be prizes for the blanket cow and there's these ones, which is her Cinderella mini skein set. They're beautiful. They are so pretty. That's really popping, isn't it? <laughs> and a rainbow socks, a rainbow mini set too. So these two are prizes. Thank you so much, Lane. I'm yeah, blown away. I've got some lovely prizes. Just hoping that at some point I can get to the post office to post them. But yeah, aren't they gorgeous? So thank you, Lane. Um, I am yeah, absolutely blown away with your generosity. I really am. So that's it for my happy mail for this week. Um, hopefully next week I will have my fabric to show you. Um, it's irritating slightly because I was hoping it would be here today so I could show you today so I could use it at the weekend. Um, so I will probably not use that now until the following week. Although, to be honest, I've got loads of those pockets to sew first. So um, I think that probably will take me a little while. Um, so yeah, into bits and bobs, I think. So bits and bobs, which is basically where I chat to you. Um, now, it, this section is pretty much saying the same every week. So we're all fine. The animals are fine. Um, the kids are back at work. And except for Meg, who is uh, working at a pub and is not going back anytime soon. So I thought what I might do is just run through a few things that have captured my interest this week. Because that's about as much as I can do. Um, I am watching the Waltons. I loved the Waltons when I was growing up and um, I am lucky enough to in own the whole thing on DVD and I'm watching that through at the moment and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, so when I'm on my own I'm watching the Waltons and then um, with Ian we're watching NCIS LA. Now I'm a big crime and especially American crime dramas. I love them. Um, guilty pleasure I think and I particularly adore the NCIS franchise. Um, so I've been really enjoying that and um, I think we're on season 8 at the moment so we've got two more seasons to go and it's still running so that's that's something that's good. I'm actually watching a series that's not been cancelled yet. I mean I think I'm the kiss of death to series so as soon as I get interested then they cancel them. Um, so that's what I'm watching. Podcast, I'm watching um, Tales from Cookie Land on a daily basis because she's doing vlogs. Um, I'm watching The Crafty Toads. Again, they're doing it daily and Stitching the High Note, who is also doing it almost daily. Um, so I'm enjoying their vlogs. Podcasts, I'm watching all my favourites. Um, Hairy Sheep, Spring Snowflake, um, Giddy Yarns. Betsy makes. I hate doing this because I always forget somebody really important. Um, and um, oh dear, I've just blanked. That's awful, isn't it? <sighs> completely blanked. Completely blanked on what I'm watching at the moment. Oh, comfy red couch. The lovely Tracy. Um, yeah, completely blanked. Oh, that went well, didn't it? Um, I am reading. My reading slow living i think it's called i think it's called slow living uh, it's a book that's doing the rounds on quite a few of the podcasts at the moment um if i think about it i will stick a picture in at the end i'll take a picture because it's sitting on the sofa downstairs um so yeah that's that's kind of what i'm up to in my kind of whilst I'm knitting life I, I knit I can I'm lucky I can knit and watch and knit and read as well um not read a physical book though I can read on my kindle so I can't read a physical book um so yeah that's what I'm kind of 
into my downtime I'm, I'm trying to do my journaling I have a daily tracker at the moment which um, is ironic because I'm shockingly bad at updating the tracker so is it supposed to be a reason that it's a daily tracker and then by the time I get around to updating it I can't remember what I've done what I've said on it or, or not but I will try and share that with you in the, the journaling podcast <clears throat> I have a um, like a daily journal which I am on the 4th of June I need to set it to um, catch that up I've also made a birthday journal so that I can put in all the little tags and cards and everything for my birthday I haven't actually finished that yet so I'm going to try and stick that on this video that may, may or may not appear at some point in the near future right on that note <laughs> I'm going to leave it there um, next week I have got absolutely nothing different than normal <laughs> it's always the same isn't it every way yep it's work um, I don't think we're going anywhere and if we do I will vlog it for you <laughs> hopefully right I'm gonna leave it there um, I hope you're all okay wherever you are take care and I'll see you next week
also not particularly helpful when I'm trying to set up for the podcast. She's a distraction.